Jeffrey's not sure if this crypto thing is actually going to work for him. He wants to be able to leave his job in the next two years, but every time he buys a strong altcoin, it goes down, and then he gets emotional and he sells it at a loss. So clearly this isn't going to work. Keep DCA in? Nah, nah, I don't think it'll work. Buy strong altcoins? Nope. Researching? Yeah, like I went to a Discord group one time and I bought a shit coin and then it went down 90% and then I sold. Scrolling on Reddit? Yes, please. Watching bullshit videos on YouTube to buy the next bean coin? Sure. He's already doing all the bad habits. He doesn't feel motivated to do anything and perhaps that's just because he's doing everything wrong. Adonis. Adonis started his crypto investing journey one year ago now and he's been decent in strongly when even his portfolio is down. This doesn't scare Adonis because he understands the next bull run will be magical. And my, just look at his life by 2025. In this video dudes, we're going to talk about a $5,000 portfolio. What would I invest in in terms of coins if I only had five grand in September 2023. Now I also want you to look at this in the next three months. September, October, November to some degree. Mostly October we think is going to be an absolute bloodbath. So look at this for October too if you're just seeing this right now or you're maybe seeing this in October. It's still going to be absolutely fine in our opinion and what we talk about in our private community. So you've got five grand. The reason this number is so important because most small investors that's exactly what they have. They might have two, three, four, they might have six, seven, eight. On average, a newbie coming in this has about five grand. And that's just what I've personally seen with people reaching out to me, and joining our private community and everything like that. So firstly, before we talk about the coins and you get excited, let's understand something first. We can set ourselves up and predict this future. So with this little magical ball here we've got on the screen, we can almost, to some degree, predict a 100K portfolio if we play this game right with five grand. Now, I'm not promising you that. You have to be smart about it and you have to be watching this channel and my thesis on taking profits, etc. But you can set yourself up. If you're not going to panic sell, just like Jeffrey in that introduction, you can do this with some coins. So let's talk about it. Firstly, I'm a big believer the next bull run has the power to change your life. Now, that five grand, we're not going to treat it like a million dollar portfolio. I think that would be absolutely silly to do so. We'd have to buy meme coins and shit coins and brand new AI coins. I'm not going to treat it like that at all, but it can buy you time. I've been doing crypto three plus years now. It's, it's scary to even think that 2020 is when I first got in. And since then, I've learned an F load about bull and bear markets or bull and bear cycles. And that's one of the most important things ever. Not really the coins, it's understanding where we are in the market. Although we can't predict it perfectly, we can look at the BTC halving and go, hang on a minute, we are exactly in the right time. And we have been for the last year and a bit to DCA and how to prepare for taking advantage of the massive movement with the next bull run and the next halving. Now being early has also helped me back in 2020 lock in positions and keep this risk low as well as being spread into multiple assets and even 2023, early 2023 being early again and getting spread and bringing this DCA portfolio to life. Now, I recommend everyone starting to look at smaller caps for a small amount of your portfolio. Here's four specific reasons why before we get into the coins. 100x gains will be everywhere. Some will 1,000x. We're not going to talk about those coins, but those will come in future videos. They're going to be crazy. And reason two, most stuff will go at a time and it will not make any sense. So after the BTC halving, let's just say, pretend Bitcoin's going crazy, Ethereum's going crazy, Solana, XRP, Cardano, HBAR, QNT are going crazy. There's going to be coins that are just going to come from nowhere. And if you are in those coins, enjoy the ride, brother, but make sure you're taking profits. Now, a small amount, this five grand, can turn into a large amount. That's the goal here with these coins. And we can time these decently well just by looking at Bitcoin and big altcoins. And when they move, we will continue to run and lily pad down these altcoins. Now, the first coin is going to be QNT. Now, remember, this is not a DGEN portfolio to some degree. Um, these are going to be safe bets. There'll be a riskier ones than others. We're not going to talk about buying Bitcoin because five grand of Bitcoin, it's not going to do you much and you're definitely not going to get out your job in my opinion by the next run for the long term it's a great play let's be honest but qnt so firstly i'm said it's five grand i'm buying a decent amount into qnt it's going to be the biggest position for this one because of a couple of reasons now we can talk about the backers etc just look at this very pixelated diagram and um, because i'm trying to fit everything in the screen but regardless you already guys already know qnt is massive limit supply etc but I'm buying 20 right now, round about $100. It's actually a little bit below at the time of recording, which is fantastic for a DCA. It's going to cost you two grand, so it's a decent chunk. It's almost 50% of our initial five grand we have. Now, again, with this five grand, don't just stop at five grand. Invest for the next six, seven, eight months till I have him. It's going to do you miles better. If you can get 10 grand, it's way better. But let's talk about this five grand. Now, the returns. Minimum expected returns for me, I think it easily hits 1K QNT 
absolute max is 5k but i was looking at this and we were talking about this last friday or this friday or last friday in our private community and we were talking about ethereum with the etf this 5k might not be far-fetched although i won't be holding for the 5k nowhere near holding i'll be taking profits 800 900 dollars maybe even some at 750 i think we easily hit the 1k especially now with uh, etf with ethereum because that'll make all coins go absolutely crazy with great coins like qnt and i don't think it's going to be far-fetched so you've got a 20 grand minimum prediction and you've also got a hundred grand now again remember we're taking profits on the way up so we're not just holding for these numbers take profits in between we'll talk about that on some other coins as well and here's the continuous chart great bull run in 2021 i think it's going to do absolute magical that's why i'm buying 20 with this portfolio two grand it is a lot but we can see we're doing damaged right we've already got a 10x and absolute minimum returns i would play it somewhere in between i believe you can if you bought 20, I believe you could easily get 25 to 45k if you played QNT reasonably well by taking profits in a great bull run. Now, coin number two is going to be Ethereum. Now, I know guys are getting peed off. Jake, that's not going to make me rich. It's not going to make you rich, bro. But I promise you, it will not hurt you. The gains in ETH are still going to be magical for easy gains. Now, with the ETF that we've seen, and it all goes to plan with the BTC having, etc., and it just runs beautifully, I think you're going to get a minimum price of 8k. It's only, it's not even a 2x of its previous run. We got 4.9k, I believe, pretty much 5k or 4.7, whatever it was. I do think it easily 2x's of that. And we're talking to private community. Some of the boys were thinking 20, 25k. Maybe, I think we easily wick 15k if it goes to plan with Bitcoin um, and everything else goes to plan. But again, the returns are not great, but it's not bad. You're getting your money back with the whole portfolio. If all the other coins go to shit and they won't because QNT is a big believer and other coins we're going to talk about, I believe in as well. So they're not massive. If you look at QNT, 20 to 100K, you've only getting 5 to 10K. It's not massive at all. But for the money you're putting in, you're not even buying one full Ethereum. I think it's absolutely magical. And it's never going to hurt you to hold Ethereum, right? So some of you guys can disregard this. I would understand. But again, if you can scoop up 0 0.5 to 1 Ethereum, you're not going to be hurt, especially with this new news. Ethereum being deflationary as well, it's never going to hurt you. Now, HBAR. A lot of people don't like HBAR anymore with their... Um, inflation rate i understand they're locking they're getting tokens out but this has all been part of the plan look at the backers we always talk about this biggest backers i've seen in this space along with qnt yes the tokenomics is not fantastic we understand that right but we were just running this coin in the bull run now this is going to get about 20k h bar i'm going to put a grand into this one the minimum expected return for me is not even previous all-time high and if you bought right now it's absolutely it's an easy 10x Two dollars would be absolute peak. Some people are going to say more. I used to still think it's going to hit more, but just with this tokenomics, don't think it can be two dollars to be honest. But you're not going to be hurt um, with these price parts at all. I'll get one grand in, getting you ten k in between the middle, forty one k. Again, have a profit taking strategy. So what did I talk about with QNT, with Ethereum, with all the other coins? You should do something like this. These are not exact prices, but again, if you split it into chunks with twenty percent. So you got five positions where you can take profits. First, take profit, 0 0.49, 0 0.74, 0 0.1, 0 0.91, $1.15, $1 $1.45. That's just an example of how I would take profits. But keep in mind, have your own numbers. Never take profits at 50 cents, 60 cents, $1, $2, because there's going to be a lot of sell pressure. Just get out on little, little cents before. It's going to make a magical difference. The returns on this one are pretty decent for the two dollars you're not going to be hurt at all but i think somewhere in between we probably hit one dollar we probably do but do we go much past that on h bar just for that tokenomics i don't know but again i look at the backers and i think why not why not but anyways i would put one grand in there and the last one grand i would put in gala games i know the dislikes are coming in crazy because of the lawsuit but again we're here for 2025 they're little bickering they can sort that out get the fines paid whatever they need to do let's continue with the mission of building great games building music building films gala films etc and let's just continue to make the best games possible and they're going to do absolutely fine tokenomics again on this one are not great you're going to get about 67k gala at the time of recording and um, but this is where the juicy returns this will be the moonshot one and again it's not even a crazy tiny shitty meme coin right it's a gal it's gala games right they've did well in the previous run i read this up fantastically well but i'm also massively down for my dca positions i've got a million coins my goal is to turn this into a million bucks if we only get half a million 750k i'm not going to be pissed off i am not going to be pissed off but i'm going to be playing this one extra careful in the next bull run and um, with what's everything's going on so minimum gain i think it usually hits 0 0.50 not even its previous all-time high i think they're going to come around again make great games bull run thesis 
hype will be there. It's all a perfect storm in my opinion. Now, one to two dollars would be absolute max. Just again, when we talk about HBAR and tokenomics, Gala again, it's not gonna it's not gonna be possible to go much past that just with all the tokens in circulation by that point. But again, the returns on these are absolutely crazy. 33k, bill case, 133k. It's risky, like I said, especially with the lawsuit, but we're covered with our other coins, dude. So that's where I would put my cash. 2k, 1k, 1k and 1k and again we're going to talk about returns but if you don't believe me the small portfolio i'm building we're already past 5k and the reason i've got more coins than the ones we talked about yeah buy some of these as well this that we're past the 5k so we're planning to go to 10k maybe 15k by the having and we'll see where this goes so yeah if you don't believe me here's a qnt here's ethereum here's the h bar here's the gala games right so they're all here every single one that we talked about qnt ethereum h bar Gala Games, we have some other ones as well. And again, this is my tiny portfolio. The big portfolio is just pretty much heavy as if in 90% of these coins. Just keep that in mind. But again, we're going for much higher. So that's why I've added more coins. But if you just stuck with a 5K, although I think you should always go more because you can always keep decent in if you had that 5K right now, get that funneled in. You're not going to be you're not going to be hurt by 2025. Now the returns, the main case for this 5K, the 65K and some change. The bill case below off top is 280K. Again, Take the sum average, we're selling in between 20%, 20% all the way out. We're going to have full videos on that as we do live on this channel, but we're not we're not taking profits right now. We are decent in chunks, so we're doing the opposite because we're setting ourselves up. And again, the sum average on this, expect about 75k minimum to 135k on very decent chunks with the layer out strategy. You're not becoming a crypto millionaire with this strategy, but if you can funnel 25, 30k into this, yeah, you'll hit it. You'll hit it and you're not going to be peed off with that at all. Some of these coins are going to be riskier. If you get to that 30k, 40k investment, you should probably buy more Bitcoin, probably buy more Ethereum to keep yourself safe. But again, dudes, this is just what I would buy and what I'm actively buying. So it's not like actively real money. A lot of people will just tell you just buy this, buy that, but they'll never actually put their cash behind it. And that's why I started that small portfolio. But we plan to grow that to 10 to 15k. Let me know in the comments below, buddies. What do you think of these positions? What else would you buy? I know some people are going to say Casper might be another great play. Jasmine might be another great play. There's a lot of other coins. You do not have to buy these coins. Most of these coins are most coins that you believe in with strong fundamentals. They will run like crazy, brother. We're all in this fight together. We're not here to shit on each other's coins. I think that's the most immature thing ever when you make a video and then somebody just says, oh, it's a shit coin, blah, blah, blah. It might be a shit coin, brother, but you just wasting your time commenting that. You look like a geek. I say that again. You look like a geek when I make a video about HBAR and you say, oh, HBAR's not going to do well. You bro, just keep the thoughts to yourself. Just don't buy it if you don't believe in it. Enjoy the content. We're all here to get rich together. You look like a geek. That's all I'm going to say. Take care.